he's going to get certainty. He's going to get closure, at least on the federal level. I mean, to the extent that there are there is still a potential that he could face uh, charges in in New York. I think that's still you know that's still you know, an open door. Obviously, the general expectation is that he's going to be cooperating with with prosecutors and ultimately in terms of sort of the, the the larger interest around the investigation of the administration and in particular around the investigation of you know of, of the president everything's really going to turn on what can mr cohen say about what did the president people close to him actually know but fundamentally for michael cohen this is this is about bringing closure and the government's expectation in that process is going to be his cooperation in whatever investigations uh, may be of continuing interest to the government now i realize we're talking about the president of the united states here and his former personal attorney but how unusual is it to see a personal attorney make a plea agreement like this to then cooperate with the government to disclose sensitive information about their former client? Well, it, it, it's extremely unusual, but I think one of the things that we have, to be, we have to be mindful of is that a lot of the functions that Michael Cohen was performing were somewhat were, were non-lawyer functions. In other words, areas in which it did not relate to his, the president, you know, that candidate uh, Trump seeking advice from his counsel and the counsel giving advice, which would implicate other issues. We're really talking about, you know, Michael Cohen doing work outside of the true attorney-client relationship. And it is, you know, it is not uncommon to see uh, lawyers prosecuted. In fact, you know, earlier this year, we've already, you know, recently we've seen Martin Shkreli's lawyer convicted you know, for securities fraud. Do you expect so Mr. Cohen will go to jail? Is common. You think Mr. Cohen um, will go to jail? You know, the, the charges, as we understand what they're likely to be, as what, you know, as what you've reported, are certainly charges for which he would and should go to jail. That's all part of the plea negotiation. But certainly, even applying the sentencing guidelines, if we're talking about bank fraud and tax fraud, setting aside the campaign violation, mm -hmm. which may all not right. be a, a felony, you know, even under the guidelines, that yep. would call for jail.